physiographic divisions. India is also known as a subcontinent because of the diverse physical features. It is a complete geographical unit with high mountain ranges, hills, plateaus, plains, coastal plains, beaches and islands. The various landforms enable us to divide India into five distinct physiographic divisions, each with its own striking characteristics. They are given here. The Northern Mountain Belt, the Northern Plains, the Peninsular Plateau, the Coastal Plains, the Island Groups. The Northern Mountain Belt The Northern Mountain Belt marks the physical boundary of India in the north and separates it from the rest of Asia. However, some countries that lie in the mountain belt share their borders with India. The Northern Mountains Belt mainly consists of the mountain ranges that radiate from the Pamir North, which lies mainly in Central Asia to the north of India. These ranges extend in southwest direction and run almost parallel to the political boundary of India. The Trans Himalayas The Trans Himalayas comprise of three small mountain ranges the Karakoram, the Ladakh, and the Zaskar Ranges. The Karakoram range that runs almost parallel to River Indus has the world's second highest peak, Mount Ketu or Mount Godwin Austin. Along with several other high peaks, it is also the land of some glaciers like the Siachen and Bifo glaciers. These are the second and the third longest glaciers outside the polar region. The Karakoram Pass connecting India and China also lies in this range. The Ladakh and Zaskar ranges are parallel to the Karakoram range. These two ranges lie to the north and south of River Indus respectively. The Himalayas These young fold mountains are a group of three parallel ranges that is the Himadri, the Himachal and the Shivalik that extend from River Indus in the west to River Brahmaputra in the east. They run in the northwest to southeast direction forming an arc for about 2500 kilometers. The mountain region with an area of about 5 lakh kilometers square is the highest region in the world. The Himalayas are about 400 kilometers wide in Kashmir towards west. Their width in east in Arunachal Pradesh is only about 150 kilometers. However, the Himalayas in the eastern half are higher than those of the western half. From north to south, these ranges of the Himalayas are The Greater Himalayas or Himadri is the northernmost and the highest range of the Himalayas. The lofty peaks of the Greater Himalayas with an average height of about 6,000 metres are almost always covered with snow. In India, the highest peak of the Himalayas is Kanchanjanga, 8,586 metres which lies in Sikkim. Some other high peaks of the greater Himalayas are Nanda Devi, 7,817 metres, Nanga Parbat, 8,125 metres, Makalu, 8,485 metres, Mansalu, 8,163 metres, etc. Several passes also lie in this range at great elevation, namely, Bara Lapchala and Shipki La, Himachal Pradesh, Thaga, La, Niti and Lipu Lake, Uttarakhand, Nathula and Jelipla, Sikkim and Bursil and Jojila, Jammu and Kashmir. The Himadri is also the source of some important rivers like the Ganga from Gangotri Glacier and Yamuna from the Yamnotri Glacier. The Middle or Ressa Himalayas or Himachal Among three parallel ranges, the Himachal lies in the middle and are lower than the Greater Himalayas. The Pir Panjal, Nagtiba, Mahabharat and Masuri range all are a part of the Middle Himalayas. This range also has some snow-capped peaks.
the Middle Himalayas are a great tourist attraction with several hill stations like Shimla, Chel, Rani Khet, Chakrata, Masuri, Nainital, Almora and Darjeeling. The southern slopes are bare and rugged whereas the northern slopes have thick vegetational growth. The outer Himalayas or the Shivalik. The southernmost range of the Himalayas extends from the Potwar Plateau in the west, Jammu and Kashmir, up to the Brahmaputra Valley in the east. To their south lie the great northern plains of India. In comparison to the northern slopes, the southern slopes of the Shivaliks are much more steep. These foothills of the lofty Himalayan range are made up of the fluvial deposits. Several valleys like the Dehradun, Uddhampur and Kotli in Jammu and Kashmir and Kota Patli and Chokhamba lie in the Uttarakhand state. The Northeast Himalayan range or the Purvanchal. The Purvanchal hills that form a boundary between India and Myanmar. Comparatively lower in altitude than the Himalayas, they are the northeastern extension of Himalayas and stretch in a north-south direction. The hills that form a part of this mountain range are the Patkai Bum, the Naga Hills and the Mizo Hills. The northeast Himalayas also extend along the India-Bangladesh border in the form of hills that extend in the east-west direction. Starting from the east, they include the Jentia Hills, the Khasi Hills and the Garo Hills. Significance of the Himalayas the Himalayas have played a dominating role in deciding the geography of the Indian subcontinent and more importantly, the life of the people of India. Although the importance of Himalayas as a barrier for the invaders has declined in the recent times, but they still form a natural boundary between India and most of Asia. They still play a significant role as a cultural barrier. Himalayas are the abode of snow. The massive snow fields and glaciers are the source of several North Indian rivers. Thus, they contribute greatly in the formation of the fertile northern plains of India. The climatic conditions of India are also affected by the Himalayas. This climatic divide prevents the cold winds from northern Asia entering India. They also block the path of the moisture-laden monsoon winds and thus help in causing rainfall in India. The Himalayas are famous all over the world for their scenic beauty with lofty snow-covered peaks, beautiful valleys and the pleasant climate of several hill stations. They attract a large number of tourists from India and abroad. The Himalayas also have suitable sites and fast-flowing rivers that create ideal conditions for the generation of hydroelectricity. The Himalayas are a home to rich flora and fauna and therefore contribute in the maintenance of the ecological balance. Himalayas are also a storehouse of minerals like copper, zinc, lead, etc.